Few people on Earth will have experienced an earthquake this powerful. <laughs> or one where the shaking seemed like it would never stop. We saw people running out from houses. Everyone was running to the city square where we were because it was an open area. And then in 15 to 20 minutes, it started shaking again. Cool heads kept a cancer patient safe during surgery in an 8.8 .8 magnitude quake, the sixth most powerful in the last two centuries. Occurring on a fault notorious for causing tsunamis, and where seismic stress has been building since the last mega quake here in 1952. The epicentre was here, just off the Kamchatka Peninsula, on the Kuril Kamchatka Trench, where the Pacific tectonic plate dives under the Okhotsk and North American plates. A tsunami's power comes from the fault on the seafloor, where tension builds on the moving plates. In this case, six metres worth of movement held back over seven decades. When that tension is released, it causes a megathrust earthquake, a sudden upwards jolt of the seafloor that shifts the ocean sitting on top, sending a tsunami wave outwards. Close to the epicentre, like here in the Kuril Islands, a wave reported to be up to five metres surged inland. The lack of people in the region, a likely factor in no fatalities being reported, at least so far but tremors and rock falls appeared to be just as terrifying to its sea lion population, filmed escaping into chaotic seas. Given the size of the quake, warnings were issued across the Pacific. Warnings heeded in Japan, hyper-vigilant following the 2011 tsunami that killed nearly 20,000 people. I was very scared. The warnings were for all over Japan, so I was frankly scared. The waves arrived but were mild compared to what this country has endured before. <coughs> Hawaii, also on high alert, recorded waves approaching six feet, but warnings were quickly stood down. Huge quakes don't always cause tsunamis of corresponding size. This may be a near miss for millions living in the path of a potential wave, but a test of the Pacific's preparedness nonetheless. Tom Clark, Sky News.